Hey guys, how's it going? A little bit later than I uh, originally planned today. Uh, sorry about that. So, um, yeah, the that whole intro sequence. Now, there's a story behind that. I wanted to see how much strain Unity could take. And I would like to know, at what point do you guys think caused the slowdown? Why did that slow down? I know it slowed down. It was intentionally, you know, lagging but what did it do you guys know just speak up in the uh, chat and we'll see we'll see who gets the right answer so um yeah i've been doing a little bit more work on this uh, since the last live stream so if anyone wants to know anything you know speak up and i'll be giving away at some point in this live stream the project file for the driving a racing game completely free but it'll only be live while this live stream is running so i'll be pasting the link in chat a little bit later on so stick around for that so uh the biggest difference that i've made is uh basically i've changed a couple of the buttons around making them a little bit more visual rather than text uh, i can see people too many rigid bodies nope that's not the answer physics nope that isn't the answer too many balls nope um just to give you a hint if you look at the end of that video, when all the balls fell out, they started moving normally again. There was no lag when they were all kind of moving across the floor. So no, it's not the amount of objects and it's not the rigid bodies. Uh, let's see, what was I doing here? So fade in needs to be turned back on. So yeah, I'm gonna press play on here. I've changed the buttons here. I think are a little bit more representative of what you would expect to see in a um, mobile game. Spawn rate increased too great? Nope. I'll tell you what, by the time we get to the 10 minute mark, I will let you know what exactly caused it. So, that should do the trick. Um, so ideally, I want to change that in all of the other worlds. I think I've done it in number two. Let me quickly check. Yep, done it there as well. Number three, did I do it there? Nope. Your answers? Nope. No collider problems. Ah, there we are. So I need to go from there. So I can kind of cheat a little bit. And I'm going to take the good old pause panel from here. And into here. And I'm going to have to get rid of the original. And obviously the pause button. Controls. Yep, so controls link here. There we are. Pause menu right there. Pause panel. And then we have a quick look in chat, see if anyone's got the answer. Nope, 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 nope. Frame rate, nope, nope. Okay, we got. Uh, well, for me, it's another, what, 40 seconds-ish, and then I'll tell you the answer. It's actually a lot simpler than what you would think. Uh, so let's change all these now. Pause panel. So resume button is going to need to be controls. Change pause game to pausing game. Quit is going to be the same. And uh, quit to menu, that's it. And restart. Uh, what do we have for that one? I think it's the fallen off object, isn't it? And it's restart from pause or something like that. Yeah, there we go. So save and that should be done. So I win spawn new game objects. Nope. Okay, so the reason why that started lagging is every time a ball hits the ground due to its velocity, it plays an audio clip. That audio clip is what causes the slowdown. So it's try exactly, there we go, PK, audio related. Now I know this chat is, uh, or rather I'm behind the chat, so PK did actually get that before I spoke this. So PK Supra, yes, congratulations, you did get the answer just before I, uh, you would have heard this. So yes, it is all down to audio. The collision creates an audio, that audio sound is played uh, every time a collision is made and there were three and a half thousand um, spheres right there so that is what did it 
We didn't hear it. Uh, listen back, Mr. Sneaky. Listen back. You would have heard it. You would have heard it. And like I said, the key giveaway was right at the end when you saw all the balls just kind of rolling away. There would have been no collision sound there. And because there was no collision sound... Llama, Jay, don't prom no, don't do that, man. I'm going to have to hide that. Sorry. It's not a place for that. Uh, okay, so moving on. I need to get the next one done. So let's take this pause panel into level four. And yeah, just repeat this process. So this is actually coming on quite well now, guys. I'm really I'm amazed at how quickly I've been able to pull this thing off. And um, yeah, it's been it's been fun because this is something that I've put together without kind of worrying about creating a tutorial series for it. And doing that has given me a lot more freedom to do whatever I want with it. Because I think creating tutorial series and tutorials just in general can be not a pain, but it's demanding. So working at my own pace is actually quite nice for a change. It really is. Uh, pausing game. Uh, Sarwin, he was just promoting his channel. Uh, quit button. You know, Llama, in all fairness, I've seen you around. I know. However, I've seen you paste a couple of things, which is perfectly fine on some of the comments, but don't keep spamming. Spam is not good, my friend. You may get yourself banned from YouTube, and I'm sure you don't want that. You won't be able to watch me anymore. Uh, restart button. Let's set that one up. Fallen off, and it's restart from pause. Uh, what else have I got to do? Oh, the pause button. The controls. Have I done that? I have, haven't I? Yeah. So let me quickly check that one out. This is level four. Uh, Dream Scorpion. I've already done Unreal 4 uh, tutorials a long, long time ago. I do not believe I was good enough back then because I felt there was more appropriate tutorials out there, so I didn't carry on. I just focused on Unity, and that's all I will ever do, unfortunately. Llama, I've warned you. Don't, oh, don't make me ban you, man. This isn't a place to promote or spam your channel. Please stop it. Right. Restart. Let's just make sure that works. You know, Jimmy's going to turn badass soon. You know, Jimmy Vegas sounds like a gangster name. I don't want to turn gangster, man. But, you know, Jimmy does not like spam. I deal with it every single day on the comments. And, you know, Prathy dude, no, that's, no, I'm, I'm not actually, you know, that's not what I mean. <laughs> what I mean is he just gets the account banned. Anyone can watch YouTube whether they're banned or not. It's just, you know, you have an account, so it's just a joke. No, you don't need to report him, Prathy dude. Don't worry, man. It's, these things happen. Some people aren't fully aware of what you can and can't do. So don't worry about it. Right, let's come on, let's get let's talk some Unity. Has anyone got any Unity questions they want to ask? Any game development questions? Let's get into this, my friends. What's going on in the world? And don't forget, stick around for that link that I will be pasting pretty soon to get your free project. And it's only going to be available during this live stream. Okay? So all those watching on catch up, sorry, but the link is now down. It's gone. Pause panel, let's take it into level five into the canvas. So remember guys, the canvas is where we store all the UI. You already know that though, don't you guys? You're a smart bunch. You're a smart bunch. More horror tutorials. Well, good news. Monday. Monday, Vlad. Monday is the next one. But, uh, oh, you're, um, you get early access, don't you? So yeah, you will see it Monday. That's fine. Uh, what am I doing here? So pause panel. Excellent. And the buttons. Resume. Function. And it's pausing game. Quit. This is very monotonous, i got to say. This is game development for you. This is game development for you. Quit. And restart. It's fallen off. And restart from pause. And let's take our pause panel into number six. 
Uh, gosh, the chat's really going fast today, guys. It's not going. Uh, Mr. Sneaky was watching the GTA uh, tutorial before the live stream. Good stuff. I th to, do you know what? I'll be honest. With the GTA series, I feel like I'm kind of dragging my feet a little bit on that because I know people really want to get into the big, massive open world. It's taken longer than I thought to actually get the knowledge together. But we'll get there. We will get there, my friend. Uh, Vlad, just be focused on them. It's something that only you can do. Everyone, imagine yourself while you start in the first place. Yep, that is some good advice for motivation. Sarwin asks for motivation there. It is tough. Uh, I do agree with Vlad on that one. I do agree. Mr. Sneaky, school? It's Saturday. It's Saturday, Mr. Sneaky. I didn't realize they had school on Saturday. Uh, control, so we brought it in. Nope, so pause panel over here. And then resume button. Controls, no function. Pause game, pausing game. Quit, same again. Nah, 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 nah. Don't forget, guys, stick around for that link. Um, let me. I'm just uploading it now as we speak, and as soon as it's done, I will paste the link into chat and then you can all get your free driving a racing project file it's the same one from the tutorials so you don't need to worry about that it's just uploading so don't worry about it i meant to upload it earlier but i completely forgot because i've been out today um yes fallen off object uh restart level from pause there we go two more to do Two more, and then we can create the end screen for each level, I think. That's what I'm going to work on next. Or should I create the main menu a little bit? We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Uh, into canvas. So let's place it here. Get rid of that. Controls. Pause panel over here. Then the buttons. Pausing game. And quit to menu. Quit, quit, quit. And restart. Didn't take as long as I thought it would do in all this. That's all right. So let's copy that. Save. Level two of world two. Start using a webcam in your tutorials. Um, no, because that just takes too much time. I'm not. I'm not somebody who wants to do that kind of thing. I just want to make the tutorial, make the educational material, and get it out there. I'd, I want. I like to do as little editing as possible because I like to keep things real time. Although I do edit some stuff, I I just want to make the stuff and put it out there. That's why I don't do very many um, you know, face videos, just because I prefer to actually show the material. Uh, pause panel. Let's take that off. Controls. Pause menu. There. Uh, pause panel. And the last few buttons, let's get this done, because this is giving me a headache. Pausing. And quit. And finally, restart button. Uh, Going to be falling off object. And restart. And pause, there we go. Save. So let's head back to level one. And I'm going to turn the fade screen back on. And what I plan to do now is give you the option when you complete the level to kind of replay, uh, carry on to the next one, or go back to the menu. So we'll see. All right, then. Let's have a quick drink. Andreas, can you make Dark Souls in Unity? You can't make Dark Souls itself in anything because it's copyright, but I know what you mean. Yes, you can create a Dark Souls, Dark Souls style game in Unity. Of course you can. You can create anything in Unity. Alright then, so we're going to need the... Let's create a new game object. So, create empty. This will be finish buttons. And I guess I can actually kind of steal the quit and 
replay, restart buttons. You can kind of copy them and put them into there. Um, let's get rid of the text. I don't think I really need the text on them. It's obvious what they are, or it will be when you play the game anyway. So the only one I'm missing is next level. So uh, next button. So I think I'm obviously going to have to work a couple of things out, aren't I? Um, I'm going to need to realign these. So uh, the, yeah, so that's next. Have I got next button there? I have. So the next button can go about there. Restart button can go about there. And the back button can go there. So I need the other picture for that one. Can you please make a tutorial for hyper casual games? Um, well, technically, I already kind of did do. I've done a couple of those. If you take a look at like the rocket tutorial that I've got going on or the clicker one that I've got. And also this one is technically classed as one of those type of games. So I guess if you watch the live stream of this or if you're a patron, you get this for free next month, this whole project. Uh, still uploading the uh, driving a racing guys. I'll paste the link soon, don't you worry, stick around for it. It's a free project, and remember, that project file is only going to be free during this live stream. Once this live stream ends, that's it. It disappears forever. But once you got it, it's yours to keep forever. Uh, textures, so it's going to be the next button. So if anyone's asking as well, these little buttons here, I actually created them in Excel. I actually created them in Excel. Vlad, can you explain copyright, like personal and commercial usage? Funny you should say that. I've actually recorded a face video talking about copyright. Uh, I did it last week, um, so that's going to be up on the channel pretty soon anyway, explaining what... Because copyright is a very odd thing to um, kind of work with, but I'll explain a little bit more in the video anyway. So these finish buttons... I kind of only want them to appear when we finish the level. So we're going to have to work on the complete script. So let's head to our script. And let's go to our white end trigger. And level complete. So let's deal with this now. Let's deal with this. Alexander, can't feel your legs. Okay, well, maybe we should rub them or something. I don't know. Okay, so start co-routine, move to next. So this is where we're going to have to deal with things. So we're going to need to create a new variable. Public game object finish controls. So... Uh, after we've done that, fade out, set active. So before we go to the next level, we're going to need to display it here. So that's going to be finish control start set active true. And the burgers are still going to have to be zero, but we can take out this scene manager section and that's going to be its own method. So I may actually put that as a coroutine, just kind of want to kind of wait for a split second before it loads into the next one. So I enumerator next level. I'll just have that, but obviously it's going to have to. Yield, return, new, wait for seconds, and I'll wait for, yeah, that'll do. Oh, I forgot the F. And save. Okay. So I'm just looking at this. This probably will do the trick. So let me save that. And the next uh, is going to be... Be, hang on, the controls. I'm going to need to add to the controls, aren't I? 
Use a five. Dang, I missed the start. Yep, don't worry, man. It was just you can kind of rewind it and you can have a look at the the weird bouncy ball thing I had going on there. Uh, it has finished uploading, so in yes, I'm just gonna prepare a page now while I do this. So I'm kind of working with two machines right now. Um, so yeah, don't worry. <laughs> uh, I forgot what I was doing now here. What was I doing? Controls. Yes, gotta add that in. Nope, it's white trigger, white end trigger, that's it. So finish controls. Finish button is there. Uh, set active true, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so that means I have to make the next button have white end trigger. And it's going to be level complete. And. Have I done that right? Is that right? Level complete and it should be next level. Right? Oh. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm, I'm gonna skip that. Forget it. I'll just have it as a... I don't really need to wait. I just want to give it a bit of time, but I guess it kind of waits a little bit here anyway, so I probably don't really need it to wait there. So we can have it here when it's kind of compiled and it's still thinking oh come on unity don't do this to me now next button that function of complete next level there we go so let me save that let's try it let's give this a go They appear a bit slow, don't they? Okay, what's happened there? The restart button. What have I done there? Hmm. Fallen off. What have I done, guys? Oh, I've done something seriously wrong here. Restart button. Restart level from pause. Okay. Let me quickly have a look at that. I might need to create a separate uh, separate method there. Restart level. Restart level from pause. Do you know what I think it might be? I think it may be the actual collision of these buttons themselves because the text is like that. So let's keep the text in line. Only reason they were originally like that is because I had the text next to them in the pause. So I think that may be it. But what I'm going to do is change the script a little bit because they take too long to come on. I'm not happy with the time I have to wait for that. Um, so let's take out that extra two seconds and see how that play, uh, how that pans out. Uh, Zaki says, when am I going to start the quiz app in Unity? Um, that's kind of gone on hold just because I, I'm doing way too much at the moment. I kind of need to hold back a little bit. So it's on back burner for now. That song is sort of catchy. Which song? The one on the this the the level one, or the one on the main menu? Because there's only two audio clips in here at the moment, done in Fruity Loops. How do I pause a game? Do I use time scale? Because sometimes time scale messes with the audio and the game. Time scale shouldn't mess with the audio in the game, not if done right. But time scale setting it to zero is how you pause the game. So I win. that is exactly how you do it. Um, so scenes, main menu, save, you mean this one, Scorpion? Level one. Well, in all honesty, 
I, I made this uh, level one audio clip and I don't think I like it. <laughs> I made it and I don't think I like it. Prathy dude. Yes, of course you can. You can develop with anything, any device really. So let's try restart. And it works. Excellent. Okay. Let's try next. And it works. Oh, and I fell off. Okay. I seem shocked that it worked. <laughs> okay, so last, let's try going back to the main menu. Timescale does also freeze. Um, it's sorry, it doesn't freeze the audio, but what you can do is the um, set the audio as an audio source and then use dot pause with parentheses and then when you resume, dot play. So uh, just to show you, I have a pause in here. Uh, if I can actually find it, pause game. So if I open up this script, you can see here that the pause here, time dot time scale is zero. We set the state as paused and the level music is also paused. But when you unpause, you set uh, unpause right there. So that's how you can do it. Easy, easy peasy. Uh, okay, so they all work. So I guess it's a case of taking all them onto all the other levels, which I will do probably later. I'm not sure if I can be bothered going through them all again and doing whatever. So let's design the uh, main menu, the world bit. Let's see what we can do there. So main menu. And if I remember, world zero one panel, if I turn it on. So there we have all the options. I guess it's a case of having buttons with the images for each world. So, how am I going to how am I going to approach this? So if I do that, this is how it looks. In fact, let me do it legitimately to see how it looks. Uh, okay, so play game. Okay, so we've got that. So we can have level one, level two, level three, level four, level five, level six. Okay, so let's. Turn that back on and let's add in the buttons. UI button. Okay, right. So, guys, I'm going to put the link in chat for your free project file in just a moment. Remember, if you're watching this on Catch Up, guys, I'm really sorry, but you should have been here live with me and you would have had it. So it'll be in the chat in a couple of moments. Get it while you can, because it'll only be live for another 20 minutes or so, because I'm only going to stream for an hour today, an hour-ish. Uh, so button, let's... Oh, we're going to need to change that to sprites, aren't we? So let's change all of these to sprites. Uh, sprite. Why? Button. Button, button, button. What is there? And text can be blank because there's no point having text because I would like some info below. So let me think. Let's move it. In fact, I'll use the rec tool. Swear the button's upside down. Oh, not the text, I want the button. It is upside down. I guess just need to flip it. So, height 100. That may be too big. Uh, rotation. No, not on the Y. Why would I do it on the Y? X. Obviously. Um, okay. Is that. No, do you know what? I might make that a little bit bigger. Let's try. Okay, so 250. No, that's 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 ridiculous. So probably 120. In fact, 150. Hmm, maybe too big. 
Let's try 200 by 120. That might do. Okay, so let, I'm going to still trial and error at this point. All trial and error. So let's have underneath buttons, have some more text. In fact, I'm going to need the burger images, aren't I? So this is going to not be a pain, but it could be a little bit of a pain. So if I get one of them done, I guess that makes a start. Uh, create empty. So this is just going to contain level one. So L1 W1. So that's obviously the button for it. So within there, we're going to need some text. So UI text uh, zero one and burgers eating burgers it was called I think I'll check in a minute uh, where's my font my fonts I should probably have it all caps burgers eating burgers probably should make it a bit bigger in the font size which means I should probably have a larger button. So I guess I probably can have this bigger. So let's have 250 by 150. Let's try it that size and just see how it comes out. I guess there's no harm in trying, is there? Uh, button, move to here. That looks okay. And underneath is going to be some more images. So when is the project copyrighted? Are all fonts copyright free? So Sarwin and Trevor, the project is not specifically copyrighted. Everything used in there can be used commercially, but it's either something I've created or sourced for uh, free, which is commercially free. But it, you know, it's it's up to you. Again, with the fonts, um, I can't remember if I use commercially free fonts in that game but i i don't see why i wouldn't have so i would I, I would assume you'd be all right all right what was i doing images so uh within here ui raw image so i'm gonna need a couple in this aren't i so textures empty burger so obviously got a couple of them that's going to be 50 by 50. And let's move that to here. And it's going to be Berber. I need to sort my caps out. Burger blank one. So duplicate, bring across. And that's number two. And next one, number three. Obviously, three burgers in each level. There we go. That one probably needs to move over just a little. There we go. Perfect. And that's number three. Then obviously we've got the inverse of that because we'll have to load player preps. Yeah, so in so on's right, it's about uh two hundred meg. Not sure why you think it's uh, a gig. Prathy dude, it's, it's definitely not a gig. And then duplicate burger one. Now we have a nice burger. Uh, don't know why I duplicated that. I want to duplicate that one. There, uh, number three. There. Nope, I'm doing something I shouldn't do there. That's silly of me. There we go. So, burger two, and burger three. Yeah, there would be no exe. Why, why, why would I provide you with one? It's, it's a project file. It's not a game. It's a project file, Prathy dude. Exactly, free flying right there. It's a project file. You have to open it in Unity. It isn't a game. It's a project file, my friend. So, I'm thinking this is probably too big to bit 
as it is. So again, this is probably all trial and error. So if I take this and bring it over here, so it would fit normally there. And this one obviously would fit normally here, but it's going down unless I have the burgers at the side. Maybe I should do that. Okay, let me try the burgers down the side. I think that might be a little bit better. <clears throat> Make better use of the space, I think. So if I bring that there, bring this to here, one, and two, and three. Yep, that might do actually. That fits quite nicely. Maybe I just need to bring them right against, or rather a bit more against the uh, button. The joys of designing, eh, guys? Trial and error. I th I thought you build it, or why would I? I? I don't quite understand, Prathy. It's just a project file. That's the idea of what we do around here. Everything I do is a project into there that's number two into there and there perfect so let's see what that looks like if i press play yep okay so that looks like it will align quite nicely both horizontally and vertically so Let's just quickly check if I bring this down, does it look acceptable? I think it does. I think it does. Okay. So in that case, I'm going to try and do the other ones in here. So I've just pasted the link again, or rather I did a couple of minutes ago. Remember, it's only going to be live for the next probably... 10 minutes or so, because it's only live while this live stream is running. You can only get that project file while this is running. Uh, let's bring this to about here. And obviously this is level two. So level, in fact, you know what? I should probably rename this W1L1. So this one is W1L2, will want level two. And that means the image is going to be different. So let me find it. Level images. Oh, I've lost a button, there it is. So level two. So I'm gonna save that and remind myself what level two is actually called because I've forgotten. Why am I putting burgers around the image? Prathy do. The main reason because I love burgers. I've said it multiple times. The real reason actually is because each level has three burgers to collect in it. So you would has, see here uh, when we get the play prefs working, you would have collected one burger, two burgers or three burgers or no burgers, I guess. So it's just a way of showing you how many burgers you've collected in that one level. So canvas level name is a tight path. So this is 0 to a, a tight, not tight, that's not a word, tight path. Okay, that's nice and simple. And let's duplicate this again. And this is going to be level three. Bring it, oops, I've done it one too high. There we go. So bring this across to about there, I think. So I think I'm going to need to change the uh, anchoring points of these as well at some point, because although it looks okay now, although it looks okay, I don't think it will display correctly on different screen sizes. But 
once I get the layout of the first world done, I guess I can easily replicate into other worlds. Uh, so we need the level image three onto there. And let's check out what number three was called because yet again, I can't remember. It was called look out below. Look out below. I guess there's a reason for all those. Oh, three. Look out below. Uh, this is going to be number four. So W one L. Oops. God, I'm having a good day. W one L four. So that's also going to need. It's button changing to number four. And I think this one's something about patience. Patience is a virtue or something like that. Mm, S is for snake. That's it. Again, I don't I've, I've said that like probably in the last last live stream. But, um yeah. If anyone gets that reference, just <laughs> speak up in the comments. S is for snake. So when we're going to scenes, main menu. So this is 04. S is for snake. Okay, so that's four in there. Uh, yeah, that. Freefly is right there. You won't be able to paste links because of spam protection. It's just, it's not me, it's Unity. If I know you're probably trying to paste the link for the uh, free project, but again, it's, it's not something I can control, unfortunately. At least don't think I can. I've never really explored much of that. Uh, so I'm going to save that and then do number five. So I'm going to duplicate. What am I going to duplicate? Number two. So let's take number two, bring it down. It's aligned nicely there. Okay. So this one, what was it called? It's, oh, let's do the image first on the button. Number five. Save scenes and let's take a look mm -hmm. level name was patience is a virtue i knew there was one called that patience is a virtue how true that actually is zero five patience is a virtue and one more to do in this world so let's take, in fact, let's rename this one first because this is level five. And I'm going to duplicate number three and just bring it down. To about there, I think. That's aligned. Yep, that's fine. And rename number six. And text. Let me save it because I can't remember what the level was called yet again. And it is sprawling mess because I remember that level actually being a sprawling mess. So 06 sprawling mess. And we've just got to change the image. There we go. Let's save that. And let's turn off world zero one panel and let's see how this menu plays out now. Okay, so we do need to make a couple of alterations. It looks like the burger collides there. So I guess we could move a couple of things up in the world panel. So let's set that active again. Let's bring these buttons off to about there let's have them so this one is going to be 
left, this one should be center, and obviously this one should be right. Nope, not text, the button. So let's save that, and then I think we've got to move the burger picture. So burger image, maybe need to shrink it, or do I really shrink it? Let me turn burger count on. Take these two together and move them to about there, I think. That looks okay. Yep. So I guess I should probably move the buttons over a little bit. Probably to about there. Okay, let's save that and turn that off. And now let's see how it looks. So we could go to that one. So I guess the next step is to actually get these buttons working. So that's probably something for another time. So let me play through all of these scenes that I have and just to make sure that everything works okay. Pause, zoom, yeah, that's all good. Has anyone got anything to say in the comments? Any questions or you know, anything you want to know? Speak up now. Uh, next level. Let's go straight to the end. No, I didn't do it there, did I? So obviously that doesn't work simply because we didn't set that all up. So that's something we've got to do. That should be fun. That should be fun. I'll tell you what, I'll do one now just to make sure I know what I'm doing. And then I might leave it for there for now. So finish buttons needs to go into here, into canvas. So it's going to go there. And let me think controls. No, it's not controls, is it? It's white end trigger. And then that needs to come across to there. Finish buttons, the restart button is in the fallen off object. Let's restart from, is it that? Is that the right one? I think, it, yeah, I think that is, isn't it? And then quit is going to be the same as controls and then quit to menu. And then next is white end trigger. Level complete, next level. So let me see if I can actually go through to the third level like this. Oh. Go back to the first level to make sure everything still does work. Uh, yes, Roy. It should do. Player prefs should work on, on any build because the idea is with a player pref is it's stored in its own internal memory rather than trying to save to a disk or anything like that. When I say disk, I mean like hard disk, like you can do on a PC. Let's see yep, so that all works. That's something that I can work on. Excellent. Quite happy with that. So I'm going to save that entire project. Now, the big question is, how much longer is it going to take me to develop this? So initially I planned for three worlds because this project itself is going to be something for um, people to take for, on Patreon, because like I say many times, it's going to people on Patreon for free. And they'll be able to take this project and build upon it, or just take the idea of three worlds and do whatever. So I know a lot of people ask, why why do I do all this on Patreon? Why do I give stuff to Patreon? Why is all this? Well, these people give me their hard-earned money. So I've got to kind of reward them somehow for you know, actually being kind to me and you know being generous. And in this world where all people can ever do is complain and criticize on YouTube, it gets tough. It honestly gets tough. But to have these people that support me, it honestly makes my life a little bit happier. 
because you you guys wouldn't believe the amount of abuse I have to put up with on a daily basis of people who complain, moan just because they can't do something or don't do something that they don't like. I, I get it all the time, and quite frankly, it brings me down. But like I say, I like to reward the people that help me. So that's why this uh, project that I'm working on, have done for the past couple of live streams, is going to be free to patrons. Anyway, that aside, um, let's talk about what's coming up on my channel this month. So there is going to be a lot of cool stuff coming up. There is going to be about uh, half of the month where we're going to see a tutorial every single day. So coming soon, we're going to see loads of content. Even some days we'll probably see two tutorials in a day. Uh, I've got a, a cool little mini series of how to learn to use Unity in uh, like two hours, I think it lasts. And that's just you know, something that I've put together because I think it'll help people. Uh, we've got some cool face videos coming, just the general stuff. Uh, obviously, there's loads to come. I'm still going to carry on all the normal stuff. So we've got some GTA coming, more Wolfenstein, more uh, RPG, more survival horror, more of the you know the the ultimate Unity tutorials I call it to make a game for free. So lo loads of that coming. So yeah, there's stick around, guys. Make sure you do click subscribe, hit the bell icon, stay up to date because. I can guarantee by the end of this year, I think we're going to have near 500 tutorials on this channel. It's loads to come. Uh, Dev, uh, forgive me if I pronounce this wrong. Devashish Mana, please can you make a glass like Smash Hit? For that, you would actually need to create the glass itself as a model. You can't theoretically break objects apart in Unity. You actually need a model with that broken down. Uh, TGTM, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? Rage quitter, something to keep me busy then after my coming surgery. Surgery? Hope it's not serious, man. Uh, Refik, hello. Thanks a lot for your tutorial. You are welcome, my friend. You are most welcome. Prathy dude, I hope I can use Patreon to support you, but I'm a kid. It's not all about Patreon, my friend. Don't worry. Not everybody can, you know, fork out a couple of dollars a month or 20 whatever dollars a month. All it takes for support sometimes is just, you know, you watching the videos and subscribing or sharing or whatever. Sometimes that's that to me, that is also support. People sharing my videos, people liking the videos, subscribing. That is also what I consider helping me out. <laughs> Uh, I did make a model, but having a hard time making the glass. What, so, the thing is, you have to create, like, uh, for example, you have game object and you have 3D objects and a cube. So you've got a simple cube, but you can make that into, let's say, a glass pane. So let's say 10 by 10, 0 point, in fact, we'll have that as 10 and 0 0.1. So you could imagine that being the glass plane. What you would need to do is you would need to create in a 3D modeling engine like the cracks here. So this section here would be its own particular object and this one here would be its own particular object and this one here would be its own object. So the glass would be made up of let's say 20 objects but all put together they're all seamless and it looks like one object. But when you smash the glass you use a velocity force or whatever then that's when all the objects fall apart, and that's where you get the idea of smashed glass. So, guys, I think I'm going to end the stream there for now. That's um, pretty much me done for this time. <clears throat> it's been great, as usual. I enjoy talking to you guys. Um, ah, <laughs> Battlefield 5. How is that, our oh, Torby? How is that? I've um, I've heard good things, but I've heard bad things about it, so it's hard to tell. So yeah, uh, you've literally got, guys, probably about 20 seconds to get that link for the free project file, because when this live stream ends, I'm afraid it goes. That's it. That's the end of it. So, guys, thank you for sticking around with me for the past hour, and I hope you enjoyed the little intro sequence with all the balls. Uh, that was fun. 
And uh, you got, at least you guys got the answer. You all got together and got the answer. That's a good thing. You guys did well. You guys did really well there. Anyway, if there's any more questions, speak now or forever hold your peace. Forever hold your peace, guys. Devashis, you are awesome. Keep the great things coming. Will do. That is something I can do. I can keep the good times rolling. <laughs> so, guys, yep. With that, I am off. You all have a good weekend. Have a good time. And remember, if you need to, leave comments on the videos, whatever. And I'm always around to help you out. Guys, I will see you around.